In other news, there's outrage tonight after a court ruled that an irreplaceable collection of Wedgwood pottery can be sold to meet pension liabilities. MPs, members of the Wedgwood family and ceramics experts have combined to say any sale must be stopped. The collection became caught up in a legal wrangle about the pensions of former company workers after Waterford Wedgwood went into administration. Here's our Staffordshire reporter, Liz Copper. This world-class ceramics collection could now be sold off and broken up to pay a pensions debt. The High Court decision left trustees here stunned. Having raised the money, built the museum, won the Museum of the Year award in 2009, then to find out that, by the way, the collection was never held in trust is just completely devastating, really. The museum's collection is a unique archive spanning more than 250 years of history. It has everything from tiny pieces of Josiah Wedgwood's original trials up to great works of art, including his celebrated Portland vase. There are also masterpieces by George Stubbs and Joshua Reynolds. In all, there are 10,000 pieces in this collection. Now, the link between this pottery and pension pots goes back to when Wedgwood went into administration almost three years ago with a big hole in its pension fund. The problem came because five members of that scheme worked here at the museum. And because the museum was the last trading link with the scheme, it was pursued for the entire shortfall. In response, the Wedgwood family began a campaign which has attracted support from around the world. We're not going to let it, let it get sold off. We are going to campaign and we're going to raise money because we, we can't go. But the Wedgwood family are very, very sort of angry and we want to sort of work out what we can do in the next steps for a campaign. With the prospect of the museum being forced to raise money to ensure its survival, Stoke-on-Trent's MPs will be meeting ministers tomorrow. It's our national history. This is 250 years of Britain uh, represented by this collection. And uh, you know, to see this collection, anything happen to it, would just be a disaster for us as a nation. And I think that's why really what we have to see now is, is government, we have to see uh, other parties, the, the creditors, really coming together and finding a way that we can keep this collection together. This museum is dedicated to the people who've made objects of great beauty from the soil of Staffordshire. Tonight, its future is uncertain. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Barlaston in North Staffordshire. Well, earlier I spoke to antiques expert Eric Knowles and I asked him what he thought of the fact the collection could now be sold off. Well, to be frank, it's one of disbelief. Um, in fact, I think I'm, uh, I must be living in a parallel universe. Um, um, for somebody like myself who's in, into ceramics, you know, this is closely akin to selling the crown jewels. I was going to ask you why it's so important. You, you've made an incredible statement there. Well, uh, I mean, it is important. And we're talking about the museum of the year from, you know, only, only three years ago. Uh, a state-of-the-art museum. It's the ju jewel in the crown as far as Stoke-on-Trent is concerned. Although, you know, they've got some fine museums there. But this is... It's such a wonderful museum. I mean, the, the, the long and short of it is that uh, th there isn't really a villain. Uh, well, this uh, is a difficult situation, isn't it, Mr. Knowles? It is. Because obviously the collection is precious, but the money is needed for people's pensions. So it's a sort of case of people versus arts. Well, I'm not so much, so much uh, in, in thinking in those terms. I'm thinking uh, this is uh, it's a case of the law. Um, which is dominating this situation. It, it's, uh, uh, you know, the, the people in, uh, responsible for the, um, uh, for the pension fund are only doing what they are legally required to do. Um, and, you know, if ever there's a case of the law being the proverbial us, I think this is it. Well, well what about your thoughts then for, for the long term? Do you think this collection can be protected or do you think it will be sold off? And, and if it is sold well, off, will it stay in the UK? It's not a matter of can it be it, it must at all costs be protected. I mean, this is, this is the heritage of, of not just, you know, stoke on Trent, not just Wedge. It's, it's the heritage of the nation. It, you know, it belongs to me and you. No, speaking very passionately about the collection, yes, excuse me, a little bit earlier. Now, a cyclist whose jaw was broken when he was mugged on a canal towpath